my uh, little Tibetan bowl. Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the 6th through August the 12th. This is for your sun, moon and rising. And um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and I really hope you stick around and keep coming back. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Thank you, guys. I so appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Um, thank you for liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I really appreciate that. I'm almost at 4K subscribers. Let's make that happen this week, yeah? And um, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so if you haven't been here before, I do an astrological report at the beginning of uh, the video and I put it on every video because it's a general astrological report. And you may skip that if you're checking out your sun, moon and right, oh, sorry, sun, moon and rising. Mercury's in retrograde, so I'm going to apologize in advance for any mistakes that I make, which I'm sure to do. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? So all, all the information and lots of other links, if you want, if you want to link to your sun, moon and rising, that's in the description box below. Um, I'm also on instant go. You can ask a question anytime and, you, and uh, one question, um, and, uh, you can get a really quick response, um, on there. That link is below and support me on Patreon guys. Check it out. It's look, it takes me about three days to do these videos. Um, I meditate before each one and I have to do the research and then I, you know, I have to upload it, edit it and all that good stuff. So it does take time. And, um, a nice way of supporting is, you know, donate a dollar or something, you know, you can don't, you can do one donation or you can do it once a month. Um, and that, you know, would really be appreciative. And if you can't, just, you know, like, share, comment and uh, all that other good stuff. Um, I, I, I so get it if you can't, can't afford it. That's fine. Um, but if you can, that would be lovely. And thank you for all of those who bought, uh, you know, whom I gave a, um, a personal reading to, uh, who purchased readings. I really, really appreciate you. You guys keep me going in between. Thank you very much. And okay, so let's go to the uh, astrological report. Now, on uh, the 6th, Venus moves into Libra. Venus is much happier in Libra. There's balance in our relationships. I think she's there till the, is it uh, the 26th of um, September, I believe? Uh, oh, sorry, the 9th of September. So Libra is there. Um, Venus is in Libra till the 9th of September. So that's wonderful. It's balance in our relationships. Venus is a lot more comfortable in Libra than she was in Virgo, for sure. And so we can balance our finances, balance our relationships. And then um, on, the sun, on the 7th, Uranus goes retrograde. Um, we have three planets retrograde, right? We've got Mercury, uh, Mars, and Uranus. So this month in general, guys, is going to be slow. And there's no point in getting frustrated. Well, you know, we and we will tend to get frustrated. But think or take a deep breath before you react. I mean, that's my advice. I had to do that in the supermarket. Uh, was it last night? No, the night before. Um, I had to walk away from a situation before I said something I might regret. <laughs> you know, it's things like that. It's situations like that that you've got to take a breath, you know, be careful of driving, you know, what is it, car rage, drive, driver's rage. You've got to be very careful of that. It's just, you know, take a deep breath and relax. It's not that important. You know, allow things to unfold and just keep going. Keep it moving, darling. Now, I want to talk about the energy of the month, numerology-wise. Um, now, uh, this month is the number 19. How do we get 19? We add um, 
eight, which is August, it's the, the eighth month, right? And then we add 2018. So we add eight to two equals 10. And then we add, well, there's a zero, so that's nothing. Then we add a one, which is 11. And then we add the eight, which is 19. Now, 19 is a karmic number. And 19 in the major arcana represents the sun, right? It's the sun card in the major arcana. And um, the sun rules Leo. And on the 11th, we have this new moon um, solar eclipse in Leo. Now, the sun rules Leo and we've got a solar eclipse. I just think that's amazing. <laughs> I just feel, okay, no, I don't feel, I just <laughs> think, I feel, I feel. I'm a Cancerian, darling, I feel. Um, the uh, This solar eclipse is all about how can we shine right? How can we shine a light on ourselves? How can we shine going forward? How can we be a part of the group and yet be an individual? Um, this is the truly new beginnings because 19, 1 and 9 equals 10 and 10 reduces down because 1 plus 0 reduces down to 1. So that's this is the third of three eclipses that we've just gone through. This is truly new beginnings. Now, I'm not saying start a new project or anything, but this is going, going forward differently within ourselves and asking ourselves, how can we shine? How can we be an individual and yet be a part of the group, right? Um, I think that's a wonderful uh, question to ask ourselves at that time. Um, there are so many other things. Go oh, and I will mention on the um, 12th, um, oh yeah, the 12th Mars moves, because it's in retrograde, it moves back into Capricorn now. That's going to be great because Mars loves being in Capricorn. It can get things done, right? So even though it's retrograde, it's still about being able to move forward. Um, but things are moving at a slower pace. And if we accept that, guys, um, life will be easier. If we can breathe before we react, then, you know, avoid major conflict wherever possible. Because we are liable to say things we perhaps, you know, don't mean or maybe we mean it at that time <laughs> but may regret it later and and you know mercury's in retrograde we could be misconstrued uh, or or misinterpreted what we say might be misconstrued so it's very important um you know to think before we speak um so without further ado let's go to your reading shall we Hello Aries and welcome to your reading for August the 4th through August the 12th. This is for your sun, moon and rising and this is a general reading guys so take what, res what resonates and leave the rest and if you want a personal reading you can click on this um, link right here and that will give you more information on how to get one. So the first card out for you guys is the three of wands this is like optimism this is this is uh sagittarius darling this is like being open and optimistic and this is like expecting your ship to come in this is knowing that your ship's coming in this is having long-term optimistic plans this is making long-term optimistic plans it's seeing the future in a really favorable way um, so he's down at the docks and he's just waiting for a ship to come in and that's what you kind of have to do metaphorically you've got to wait for your ship to come in you know it's coming in you're just waiting for it it's getting here darling your ship is coming in and you need to make and when I say long-term plans I don't mean a few months I mean years if you fail to plan you plan to fail um, now, clarifying it is the Knight of Cups. Love, darling. Love is coming in. Love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is like the Knight of Cups, darling. He's bringing love in. Look, I'm seeing fantastic cards here, Aries. Wow. 
The next card you have is the Nine of Cups. This is your wishes come true. This is celebrating, you know, success. Things are really happening for you right now. You're feeling like, wow, I'm going to celebrate. And celebrate, yes. Start Have a party and celebrate. But just as, <laughs> as I usually say for the Nine of Cups, just don't stay at the party too long, darling. <laughs> yes, celebrate. Celebrate within your means. Don't go over the top. Don't be overzealous in, in spending money. Um, you know, be more conservative um, and, you know, perhaps have a smaller party for a shorter period of time. <laughs> but celebrate definitely. There's much to celebrate. And look, you've got the tarot, uh, sorry, the chariot. And the chariot is the number seven, right? In the major arcana, it's the, number, it's the seventh card. And seven to me is also a very spiritual number. It's introspective. The chariot signifies that you've had a very difficult journey. And through your hard work and determination and focus, you have completed that journey. And you are, you're, you've been successful and you are triumphant. You've arrived. Now, the chariot does indicate that you've had a difficult journey and that you've arrived. However, it also means that don't stop now. Keep that momentum going. This is about being in the moment. It's about being focused on what's right in front of you. It's very important not to get distracted during this time and to keep going forward. You know, you don't have to rush. It's just keep doing the next best thing. Um, so this is reminding you not to just say, oh, yeah, that's done. Thanks. And then sit on the couch, pat yourself on the back and eat bonbons. No, it's not about that. It's about keeping that, keeping that momentum going. It's get off your tush and keep on keeping on, as they say. And the next card, you've got another celebratory card. It is the four of wands. This is like amazing chemistry. This is like the completion perhaps of a project or something you've been working on or a goal or something. Because look, you've got the foundation, right? There's four poles and they're like meeting in the middle. It's kind of chemistry. Things are just working out really well. And things are feeling really good. And it's probably because this journey you've taken and you're really feeling like wow I've arrived and then you have the eight of wands darling this is like energy coming in really fast so you are really feeling successful this week you're feeling filled with love hope and prosperity and the future looks really bright and this is definitely a lot of stuff is going to come in for you this week things are going to happen really fast um, Aries so this is exciting time for you it is a time to celebrate it's also a time to keep doing it don't just stop because you know they had a little success you know really successful people are inspired even more to do more and not stop and keep going so focus Keep the eye, keep your eye on the ball. You don't want to drop any balls right now. And um, look, I even see the dragonfly, which represents abundance and success. Um, there's so much, uh, there's so much stuff going on in these cards. Look, it's a brilliant, brilliant week. Aries, thank you for tuning in. I really hope you enjoy it to the fullest. You stay in the moment. But keep doing what you're doing because it's working. <laughs> it's fabulous. I'm so happy for you. Um, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Share it on your social media. Um, and comment. Give me feedback. I love comments and feedback. And I always respond if it's required. And subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah! I love you all. And I'll see you next week. All the babies, look at them. How old do you think they are, Kathleen? Um, For a personal reading, please go to www.live.com.
inthesolution.com. They're at the ugly duckling stage. Maybe four weeks. I can make it. No, I'm just saying that because of the story.